Welcome to Family Product Reviews. If you are new here support us by subscribing. Today we will be reviewing the Derma Blend Setting Powder, Loose Translucent Powder for Finishing, and Setting Makeup. So great for those like me that get a little tan in the summer, and paler in the winter. V is a huge container. It does what it says, and is effective at setting makeup. This is the setting powder that is applied after you have applied the coverage to your face. Take the puff, and apply powder liberally all over the forehead, under eye, and cheek area, and the bridge of the nose. Does give you the feeling that your makeup is totally locked in place lasts extremely well. Skin can definitely not breathe in this, but again, not really a factor if your goal is simply the best coverage possibly. It's a great alternative to the more expensive ones, such as Makeup Forever brand. Unless you have super oily, but otherwise flawless skin this doesn't seem to be a good product. The talc feels like it sucks all the moisture out of pores on say, a night out. Keeps makeup on longer even if you pair it with makeup other than the Derma Blend brand. This powder is everything. Although it's white it goes on almost invisible on the skin, and as someone whose face gets so oily you could fry food on it with enough heat, I've definitely noticed the difference, and that's it for the day. Can is really good, the powder doesn't stick to facial peach fuzz. It also makes any fine facial hair stand out, probably most gals over age 50 can relate to this. Work pretty good, a little bit of rub off on clothing, but to be expected. Great to set makeup in place especially in high humidity areas where your makeup would normally melt off. It's good for what it claims to do, and it would probably be a lot easier to apply, and remove over face makeup. This helps to maintain it that at the end of all the sweating the dark area is only barely visible. It may have been a little different, but it was so slight that it made it negligible. Having a smooth face helps your makeup go on smooth, and the powders won't sit atop the skin. But, the Derma Blend isn't super expensive, and tarries enough to last a very long time. She's in, and out in really warm temperatures, and she has found this to be one of the very few products that does the job effectively. However, where this one stands out is in its darker color range, as there is certainly offers more options than many other lines. If you are unsure if you should get cool beige, or white get the white cool beige is definitely on the far side of medium. This powder is a great setting powder however it may need to reapply throughout the day if you have oily skin. It's enough to last for at least a couple months, and it helps blend, and smooth everything wonderfully. To me it lasts longer than Sephora setting powder, and the mattifying Urban Decay Compact. Great, but you can see a little bit of white from the powder which might not work out for people with darker skin tones. However you choose to get it, setting powder brings out the best longevity for Dermablend products. Follow the enclosed directions, and you'll have all day wear without feeling like you have heavy makeup on your face. The powder is white translucent, but it blends in with foundation, and doesn't make it look lighter in color. This product at really good quality. It's the perfect skin tone color for me, and the packaging was good, and it is a good alternative to other high-end setting powder. Don't notice a difference in longevity of the foundation, but it does give a nice matte finish, if you're looking for that. Bare Minerals has one that swivels so that you can close it after you shake out the amount that you need. The directions say to apply liberally, and buff off after letting it set for 2 minutes. The white powder does not act translucent on the skin, and leaves a white powder residue. Great setting powder. Goes on nice, and keeps me shine free for a couple hours. No box, no instruction brochure, and the small container holding the loose paper was completely unsealed. This powder is supposed to be transparent, but it is chalky, and ghostly white on the skin. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe, and leave your comments below.